गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट होमोलोगस एंड एनालोगस ऑर्गन्स होमोलोगस ऑर्गन्स आर दोज ऑर्गन्स विच आर सिमिलर इन ओरिजिन एंड बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर बट देयर फंक्शन आर डिफरेंट होमोलोगस ऑर्गन्स सो डाइवर्जेंट इवोल्यूशन एंड आर डेवलप्ड इन रिलेटेड ऑर्गेनिजिम होमोलॉजी इंडिकेट्स कॉमन एंसेस्ट्री हियर होमोलोगस ऑर्गन्स आर सोन बाय थॉर्न ऑफ ऑगेनबेलिया एंड टेंड्रील ऑफ कुकरबिटा In both plants, there is modification of stem, so they have similar in origin. Again, it is shown by spine of cactus and tendril of pea. Here, both spine and tendril are modification of leaf. So, in these cases, they have similar in origin, but their functions are different. In animals also, there is homology. For example. For limbs of man, dog, bird, whale are homologous organs. As in all the cases, for limbs have same basic structure, plan, and origin. But in all the cases, functions of for limbs are different. In human being, for limbs are used to reach items. The dog's for limbs role is to help with motion. Bird's for limbs are modified into wings used for flying. Whale's for limbs are acting as flippers and they operate in turn to stabilize the body so in all the cases their functions are different so they are homologous organs now it is about analogous organs it is just opposite to homologous organs analogous organs are different in basic structure but they perform same function so they show convergent evolution and developed in unrelated organism common example is seen in plant is sweet potato and potato both are having different origin sweet potato is modification of root whereas potato is modification of stem but both store food having similar function in animals also analogy is seen for example wings of bird bat and butterfly in birds four limbs are modified into wings in bat wings are modified tetrapod four limbs whereas in butterflies the wings are formed from a group of cells that are set aside during the embryonic stages in the form of imaginal disc thus it is all about homologous and analogous organs i hope that it is clear to all of you about the homologous and analogous organs thank you